Hello, uh, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. Uh, welcome back. This is a follow-up video to the uh, last one I did, um, which is uh, Easy Believism. Uh, in that, that video, I explained that all that is required for our salvation uh, is faith that Jesus Christ paid for our sins when he died on the cross. Now, the next subject I want to talk about is uh, after you get saved, because of your faith in Jesus, is it possible for a person to live a carnal life and still be a Christian? Well, I've, I've made many other videos uh, covering this subject um, very, very thoroughly. This time, I just want to point out that the fact that it is not an oxymoron, the term carnal Christian. Like these two words actually do go together. There, there are Christians who are uh, walking with the Lord, and serving the Lord, and then there are Christians that are carnal. Both of these Christians have the promise of eternal life in heaven. They've, all, they've received the gift of salvation and eternal life because of their faith in Jesus Christ. And yet, some people choose, after they get saved, to uh, do Bible studies, to maybe participate in church, to have a ministry, to do their best to stop sinning. And, and then other people, they just don't seem to be interested in those things. They don't, that's not where their time is going. Their time is going in pursuing fleshly things, having a carnal life. And yet, they're both Christians. Some of you would disagree with that. Some of you would say that the person, the, the carnal Christian, is not a Christian at all. Because their carnal life proves they never really got saved. Well, if that's the case, I, I, I ask you to examine the Apostle Paul. The Apostle Paul apparently never got saved either, if that's your reasoning, because the Apostle Paul talked about the sins that he continued doing. He said, I, I want to do the right thing, and I don't do it. I don't want to do the wrong thing, and yet I do it. Oh, wretched man that I am. He continued sinning. And that's because once we get saved, we have a struggle for the rest of our life between the new man and the old man, between the born-again new creature and the old man, the flesh. And how everybody deals with that struggle for their lifetime is different. Some people work real hard at getting the victory. And, 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 and some people, uh, they fail quite, quite a bit in their walk. Some people don't seem to be making much of an attempt at all. They're carnal Christians. It's not an oxymoron. It's, it's a fact. And there's probably a lot of carnal Christians. People who are really going to heaven and yet, there doesn't seem to be any evidence in their life. You don't see a real changed life. So, I made these last two videos to take a stand uh, for this uh, easy believism and the carnal Christians. Um, we do not have to prove our salvation through our works either. Uh, I, I, I'm certainly not against doing good works. I'm doing everything I can to do good works. I preach the gospel four or five days a week. I make YouTube videos. I, I, I'm trying to do everything I can to walk the walk. To be a doer of the word, not simply a hearer of the word. But that's not what justifies me. That's not what proves my salvation. 
and another person that is doing nothing. They simply trusted Jesus Christ as their Savior and that they never have any spiritual growth or maturity during their life. They're just as much saved as I am. All right. I want you to think about that.